My name is David Troy, and this is the David Troy Self. We're just going to jump right into it today and this is our model Emily. Emily is 15 and she's looking for something new. So when she came in we sat down and had a consultation. As you can see she's kept it all pretty much one length. There's a longer layer in there but she's ready for a change. So what we're going to do we're going to bring it above her shoulders. She's definitely ready for that bit of a change and we're going to do a round layered haircut. So the way we're going to achieve this is bringing everything out at 90 degrees off the head starting at the nape working all the way around. We're going to keep the length at about four to five inches around the whole shape of the head now I am going to keep it longer in the front so I'm gonna when I get to that section I'm over directing it back into the rest of the hair but I don't keep a tight tension on my section when I do this haircut I use a wide tooth of the comb what I mean by tension this is a cutting comb so one end you can see the teeth are closer together the other end they're wider apart by using the other end of the cutting comb you get less tension on your section which creates more of a fun layered free forming haircut now I did start at the nape area and I took every section out at 90 degrees remember this is a round layered haircut so we work with the curve or the shape of the head and this is the way it turned out. I love this haircut for Emily. I think it turned out amazing. And I loved using the wide tooth of the comb for the whole haircut. When I took my sections, it gave me less tension. So you can see here, the layers just turned out amazing. When we look at the before and after side by side, you can see how this haircut just opens Emily's face right up. Now it is an older look for Emily and it does make her look older than 15. But I think she was more than happy with the result. So you can see here, I did go back in and take it a little bit shorter around the nape of the neck, leaving the rest of the haircut four to five inches long, longer at the front, um, dragging that section back. But as I got to the nape, I did take it a little bit shorter. Still pulling everything out at 90 degrees off the head because we want to create that round shape with those round layers. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know when I upload. I'll catch you next week.